Jeff Jarvis, what would Google do, reverse engineering the fastest growing company in the history of the world? Prepare to delve into the dynamic world of, what would Google do? Where Jeff Jarvis explores the secrets behind Google's groundbreaking business strategies, insights that have transformed the way companies operate in today's digital landscape. Through this summary, you'll gain a riveting understanding of how customer involvement and open interaction have taken center stage, replacing traditional secrecy and narrow focus. Uncover the importance of honesty, transparency and harnessing the power of niche markets in the ever-evolving digital age. At the same time, take a closer look at the rise of free services, network-based companies, and how the knowledge business is driving success in contemporary business models. The Power of Customer Involvement Companies that involve customers in product creation gain a competitive advantage through valuable feedback and new ideas. Founder of Dell, Michael Dell, saw this opportunity when he launched IdeaStorm, where customers can contribute their ideas. Google offers experimental products for testing and feedback. Companies also benefit by involving customers in marketing, as happy customers advertise and recommend products they like to friends. Google became the fastest growing company in history primarily through word of mouth, not marketing. However, companies must maintain honesty with customers to maintain their trust. Openness and interaction with customers are essential in creating a competitive advantage. Embracing honesty in the transparent world. In today's world, honesty is crucial for companies to gain credibility. With the rise of social media and internet, everything one says or does can be easily found on Google. It is essential to be transparent and admit mistakes openly. The way Reuters handled a case in 2006 serves as a good example of the right approach, removing fake photos, firing the photographer and thanking the bloggers. Google's unbiased search results and clear indication of advertising also show the importance of integrity. Companies should only do things they can admit publicly. The new generation values honesty and expects others to tell the truth. In this transparent world, honesty will always be the best policy. Generating more traffic through Google Your website needs traffic to survive, and the most effective way to increase your visitors is through Google searches. To optimize your website for Google, it should be informative, with answers to every possible question that people may have relevant to your industry. By monitoring the searches that lead people to your website, you can know what information your site should provide. Creating a Google-friendly site that improves your page rank is essential. A simple, clear, and no-frills presentation of information makes your website appealing to both your customers and Google's computers. Finally, the Internet has revolutionized how media operates, and we will explore its impact. The New Structure of Media The Internet has revolutionized the media landscape by linking pages and information online, leading to a more collaborative and specialized environment. This change allows everyone to speak their mind, listen, and join conversations in different places at different times. The linking of content has also enabled journalists to specialize and focus on what they're good at, resulting in higher quality. Companies should mimic this approach by focusing on what they do best and linking to the rest. Networking for Profit The Internet has brought about an unprecedented era of collaboration and networking. Building or joining a network can be beneficial for both individuals and companies, allowing them to contribute and gain value from the collective. Glam is an excellent example of a successful network, where 600 sites covering women's fashion, health, celebrities, and other genres have formed a curated content and advertising network with over 81 million worldwide users. Another profitable approach is to provide a platform for others to build on, as demonstrated by Google Maps. By allowing users to develop businesses, communities, and networks on top of the Google Maps platform, businesses have become very invested, making it difficult for competitors to lure them away. Niche Focus The mass market is dead, replaced by an infinite number of small niches. Rather than serving the masses poorly, companies should focus resources on serving their niche well. 
This has led to the rise of small businesses, which now find it easier to succeed than ever before. Small stores on eBay sold $60 billion in goods in 2007, beating America's largest department store chain. Blogs have 57 million readers, surpassing daily newspaper sales. Today, small companies are usurping the formerly dominant position of big companies, as they are better positioned to succeed in the knowledge business, even if they don't realize it. The knowledge business. Amazon and Google have succeeded in minimizing the handling of physical goods, leveraging the data they have on their customers to predict their needs. They provide services for free and collect data on their users to achieve targeted advertising and increase profits. Companies should rethink the true value they offer their customers, which may not be in the physical products they sell, but in the knowledge they possess and how they anticipate customer needs. The knowledge business is transforming the way companies operate, as exemplified by Amazon and Google. Both companies minimize the handling of physical goods by obtaining merchandise only when ordered by customers and using external shipping services. These savings are passed on to customers, driving even more volume. Furthermore, both companies have valuable databases on their customers' buying history and preferences, enabling them to predict the next product a customer might need. Google has achieved remarkable success by offering many services for free and then collecting data on users to increase the profitability of targeted advertising. Businesses could benefit from following Amazon and Google's model by rethinking what is the true value they offer their customers. The value is probably not in the physical products they sell but in the knowledge they possess and how they anticipate customer needs. As a result, Businesses may offer their main products for free while leveraging data to generate profits from targeted advertising and predictive selling. The power of free. Nowadays, it's not only possible but also common for businesses to offer services for free while making profits. The key to this lies in advertising revenue. The New York Times paywall in 2005 was erected to generate income but failed to make a profit. In 2007, they dismantled it, resulting in more visitors and increasing the site's Google ranking, which led to more ad revenue. Many network-based companies like Facebook, Amazon, and Google offer free or low-cost services because they understand that great free services have no competitors. Craigslist is an epitome example, they charge only for job listings and offer all other listings free of charge, making it the go-to marketplace with no competitors. The power of free services is vital for networks to thrive and grow, thereby monopolizing the market and generating more revenue through advertising. In summary, What Would Google Do? provides invaluable lessons on the importance of openness, customer interactions, and a strong focus on niche markets. Embrace the necessity for honesty and transparency in today's world where word of mouth can make or break a company. Witness the rise of small businesses and the knowledge economy, where companies such as Amazon and Google profit by leveraging their extensive knowledge about customer behavior. Finally, discover how offering free services can lead to unprecedented growth and success in network-based companies. With these powerful insights, not only will you grasp the essentials of Google's astonishing success, but also learn to apply these strategies for leading your business towards a triumphant future.